Hey guys, what's going on? Today, we're gonna look at this knife right here. This is the QSP Penguin, and it's kind of like a G10 with a shred blue and black carbon fiber overlay, sticker, whatever you wanna call it, but it actually looks pretty good for what it is. It might just be even a thicker layer of carbon fiber, I don't know, but um, looks better than some of your average st stickers on a knife. Here's the packaging that it comes in. And I like this style of packaging. It's perfect. Bare minimal. You get a decent looking box that's going to hold up pretty well in storage in case you want to sell it, which is what a lot of knife guys do. We buy, we sell, we trade, whatever. You get a couple of decent little stickers. You get a little card in here. I'll let you look at that. 3.6 inch blade, one inch tall, four inch handle. So a one-to-one -one combo, D2 steel, thumb studs, 7.6 inches overall. So that's pretty cool. There's all your steps for you. And there's just a piece of foam and some plastic that the knife wraps up in. And there you have it. There's your packaging for this knife. And there is also part of your specs right there. You know what the specs? Screenshot that. <laughs> and we'll do the weight here on a scale just to make sure everything's on the uppity up with those guys. Um, get this uh, sticker back in there. I don't understand why they give you a sticker that's bigger than the box, but that's okay. And the box is made out of a decent heavy-duty cardboard. doesn't take up much room. Uh, you're not paying extra for some goofy uh, pouch that you're not going to need anyway. And I don't remember the exact cost of this knife. I think when I got it, it was like 38 bucks. And a lot of people have been bragging about it. So I was like, hmm, I got to check that out. Here it is for some size comparisons around some normal household items. And I think I'm going to narrow my household items things instead of trying to do different ones all the time to just a few items. There it is next to a Bic lighter. There it is next to a Sharpie. And there it is next to a tactical push pin. Pink tactical push pin to be exact. I'm going to move some stuff around here. Um, been trying to find a desk so I could do a better background and have better lighting and this and that, but it's hard it's hard and it costs money and etc 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 lots of excuses um, oh yeah let's check the weight i should probably write down a review process one of these days do, do, do. three and a half ounces which three inch blade three and a half it's kind of i don't know it's kind of forward heavy. Well, no, actually it's kind of back heavy, but it feels in your hand like it's forward heavy, like the blade's heavy. So let's look at it next to some other knives. Size comparisons. Let's put this out here in the middle. Here it is next to you. The cold steel four max scout so obviously it's smaller than that knife and i could not find my tough light this morning so we got this uh fake ganzo delica standing in for it so as you can see it's about the same size as a delica here it is next to you Kaiser Doman, and also which also has a similar blade shape. So the Doman is a little more cutting edge and a little more handle and a lot smoother. Here it is next to you, the Paramilitary 3 by Spyderco. Um, real similar to almost the same size lengthwise. Obviously this is wider blade, wider handle. 
And here it is. Next to the Quiet Carry IQ, which is dimensionally very, very similar. A little shorter in the handle. Well, let me line it up. A little shorter in the handle, just a little shorter in the blade, and a lot narrower. So we're going to put that one right up there because we're going to reference that in a little bit. We're going to take this one down. I'm really sorry for the shadows. Let's see if I can fix that a little bit. We got sun coming through the window. Uh, it's just nice to see some sunshine. And we'll adjust this a little bit. There. Uh, still about the same. Let's adjust it a little bit more. Do, do, do. There. There we go. That's better. All right, so what do we get for our $35 or $38 or whatever it was? Well, you get these scales, and you get this real straight handle, which is very ergonomic and good. You can choke up on it a little bit like that. It's fine. Um, it's a little bit slick. You get a liner lock. You get phosphor bronze washers with um, Teflon washers over the top of them, which... I know there's a lot of people who don't like that. Um, it's not my favorite, but I've never had them fail on me. A lot of people say they have. Uh, the biggest thing I can tell you with those is you got to just be careful when assembling and disassembling. And you don't want to really soak them with oil because it causes them to curl. And mostly what happens is people curl them up and then they try to put the knife back together and the washers don't go in flat and then they shred the first time you open them. So, um, if you're careful, they work fine. Uh, otherwise, ergonomically, it's really good. Like I said, it's a stick, basically, which is kind of what our human hands are made to hold. So, works great that way. Um, you have a captured pivot, which is nice. You have two T-CX screws. Um, those are extra screws. I don't know why they do that, but I guess it's all right for the pocket clip. You got a deep carry pocket clip, but you do have screws that stick up. But as well as they're rounded, they don't really cause an issue. At least for me, they have it. Um, there's your lockup is, I would call that 50%. So that's good. And as you can see, even though it's phosphor bronze, it's very smooth. With uh, Even with the Teflon washers. So uh, the blade... You get a vertical satin on the primary bevel, and you get a horizontal satin on the rest of the blade, which is kind of nice looking. There is their logo, the QSP logo, which is kind of nice. And then this blade steel is D2. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of other markings on here, which is very nice. This knife is made in China, so whatever your feelings are about that, um, location does not equate quality these days. Your centering is good on there. You got these really nice hourglass shaped standoffs. Uh, one thing they could have done that I would have paid just a little bit more for is they could have milled those liners out and probably got this down to the three ounce, ounce per inch of blade that um, most people seem to want these days, which is nice. It's a nice carry. Uh, like I said, this one feels blade heavy, but the balance is actually uh, it's pretty good, actually. It's not bad. Um, but it just feels real blade heavy for some reason, and I don't know why. Sheep's foot style blade, Warren Cliff Edge. Um, this is flat ground, I believe. This is flat ground. Uh, let's see. Let's just check and see. It's hard really to tell. Uh, what I need is a card of some kind. And I don't see one handy, but we can go like this, and we can take this like this, go like that, and yes, it's flat ground all the way to about three quarters of the way up, and then you get some flat to put into your um, precision angle sharpener, which is nice. It sharpens up pretty nice. It's decent D2. 
hasn't rusted on me or anything. Um, this may be, just so you guys know, I'm going to do another giveaway at 400 subscribers. And this just might be the knife. I don't know. One of the knives. I'm going to probably do two at 400. So, yeah. Um, it's an okay slicer. It's a little bit on the thick side. It's about eighth inch thick steel, which I think, in my opinion, I don't know why. I don't know what's so hard. Um, maybe it's more milling. I don't know what they sell these nominal sizes of steel, um, but they could have made it more like this, which is about 330 seconds. Lost a little bit of weight, made a little bit thinner knife, would have been thinner in the pocket, and probably have been even more popular. This has been actually a pretty popular knife, really. Uh, I'm kind of late to the game on it, I guess. I've had it for a while, but I've had so much other stuff to review. And I'm kind of getting back into some of my older knives. Which, I'm going to put my email down below, I think, in the description. And if there's anybody out there who's got a knife they would like me to review, or you want to swap some knives to review or whatever, maybe I have a knife you haven't reviewed, and we can, we can do that. Let's communicate with each other. Or you can get a hold of me on my Instagram. Whatever. And if not, that's fine too. Uh, if you're a knife vendor, or if you're a knife making company, or whatever, you're a custom knife maker, whatever, and you want to get um, some really minor views on your product, uh, give me a shout and we can talk about that. Uh, anyway, uh, opens by thumb studs. They are a little bit pointy on the end, but they still aren't as bad as the Pyrite. I don't know exactly well for the one thing you can kind of get them from the side a little bit better we're on the pyrite that's a little bit harder to do um but opens consistently every single time closes really good so your action on this knife i would say is really really good uh, for a budget knife um this is a fantastic deal uh you do get this big huge giant lanyard slot which is not my favorite thing I wish they would just eliminate that, but I guess it cuts, you know, a uh, 124th of an ounce or something. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, chipping on it's good. Doesn't hurt your fingers. You just kind of roll on it. It's nice. It is nice. Uh, yeah, so there you go. The QSP Penguin. It's a great little knife. I'm really happy with it. Um, like I said, I got probably too many knives. So this might be in the next giveaway or maybe the giveaway after. I don't know. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to keep it forever. Uh, this knife right here has better steel, better slicer, thinner steel, lighter in the pocket, and about the same amount of cutting edge. So probably going to keep that one over this one, <laughs> which I think anybody would do. So, and then this one will probably be in someone's else's pocket someday so carbon fiber sticker on this is actually pretty decent uh, there's not a whole lot of blue in it a little bit it's blue g10 and black carbon fiber shred so still nice looking nice enough that you know most people probably wouldn't know it's not solid carbon fiber if you didn't tell them um yeah so there you go qsp penguin I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Uh, thanks again for all the new subscribers. Keep it coming. The giveaway's coming soon. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Leave comments down below. And uh, we'll get to 400 and do another giveaway. So, anyway, get your family, get outdoors, turn off the TV. Toad sticker out.